if you had to create an inexpensive, less than $200 device and a very easy to use automation, that's your answer. So you want to just pump water. And you know, you see, not only can do, you know, this reading of data, but it can also do control. And it's super accurate. So for example, in this case, you see if I click on calibrate, what it does is it actually puts all the water from the top tank to go down into the bottom tank. And you know, once we will pump, you'll see it'll stop exactly when the water finishes. Water, water everywhere, but only Arduino and Gurney can help you do the industrial control. Oh like what I, oh like what I did there. Water, like what water. I did there. Like what I did there. That was awesome. That was yeah? a really good guy. Yeah. Water, water everywhere. Everywhere. Yes. Okay. I kind of like it. Right. Industrial control, water. Talk us through the demo. I would love to talk you through the demo before it falls. First of all, Opta, the Arduino Opta. I think we talked about it briefly. It's the new industrial automation. What we did in Makers with Uno, we're doing in Industrial with Opta. Right. It's a micro PLC, smart IO. It has a bunch of every good things that you need in a PLC. The most important thing is it makes it really easy for you to do automation. Exactly. Talk us, through, talk us through why you should go with Arduino with PLCs where most people wouldn't think Arduino. I know, PLCs. Oh, obviously, PLC, that's obvious. What are you talking about? They don't about? think that. They don't think that. They so why does that exist and why should they use it? I agree, so that's a good question. So first of all, for the audience, Arduino Opta is the only micro PLC which allows you to do the Arduino C++, C and sketches along with the IEC 6113 languages, which is the ladder logic, structured text, all of that. So we're making the two worlds come together. Make sure you keep up. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the engineers, the audience is really smart. They, yep. they know what we're talking about. Yep. But this is the only way you can mix and match and make it super easy in an Arduino way to use a PLC, but with industrial reliability. 10 years life cycle, super secure. Some of the most secure PSA2 certified, you know, kind of equipment out there for automation. So that's what we're doing. So let me show you. So for yep. example, what we're doing here is we're connecting um, the Opta with this ecosystem of various expansions. You have expansions for cellular, for LoRa, for all kinds of connectivity, wireless, all kinds of IOs, and a simple- Adaptions. Adaptions. Peripherals. Per Fair enough, that's a good word. Like <laughs> shields, we should call them shields, remember? <laughs> now we call them expansions. Expansions. <laughs> but like a simple, um, you know, most industrial places have like hundreds of tanks. Yep. Hundreds of fluids and liquids. Yep. Simple things like car washes have 400 plus like different yep. things of fluids. So if you had to create an inexpensive, less than $200 device and a very easy to use automation, that's your answer. So you want to just pump water. And you know, you see not only can do, you know, this reading of data, but it can also do control. Yep. And it can do, you know, pumping so, of water. In I a mean, way. the thing is in these kind of environments, most of these kind of environments will have been around for five. 10, 15 years. Correct. So they won't have had anything like this. They won't have had the ability. That's right. To bring in something like this is highly electronic, highly systemized, highly adaptable, highly easy just to click into the system Correct. and take advantage of all the electronics and all the data and control that it will produce. That sounds absolutely right. So that's, that's the beauty of this for this kind of environment. You said it better than I could have. Yes, that's the beauty. And also the other beauty, guys, is that you don't need to touch your existing automation system. Exactly. You can leave your existing So this expensive. is legacy retrofitting. You just put it on top. Yes, exactly. So that's why you're seeing this HMI from Vintech, one of our partners, could be connected to your Allen Bradley or Siemens for core automation, but we come in and make the modern you know, retrofitting from an IoT perspective, yep. really simple. Yep. And it's super accurate. So for example, in this case, if you see if I click on calibrate, you know, what it does is it actually puts all the water from the top tank to go down into the bottom tank. And you know, once we will pump, you'll see it'll stop exactly when the water finishes. Right. So it's like the precision accuracy that you can get with such a, in a you know, easy to use and inexpensive device. Yep. So, so that's the whole idea. So very, very quickly, I'm a, I'm a control systems engineer, control systems manager, control systems lo looking after, let's just talk about, because it's water, let's just say it's, as you just said, washing, car washing system, something yep. like that. Typically industrial, typically le legacy, typically probably been there for 15 years, and you come along and go, integrate and embed that into your system. Exactly. Very seriously, how complicated that would be for somebody with a non-electronics background to go plug that in and they get what they need. Reasonably simple. I think you heard from one of our customers in the event today, we had CES. At CES, you heard from Atlas Machine Company, Louisville, Kentucky Company, where the service technician with no electronics background could do this in a couple of days. Couple of days? Yes. Couple of days. So, thank you very much. Thank you for the demo. Absolutely. It's good Great. to see you.